Hello everyone and welcome back. This is another video for Hacker Rank uh, Intermediate Certification. In the last video we have done the JavaScript Intermediate. This video we are doing Node.js Intermediate Certification. And let's get started. It has a two problem statement. We got uh, 60 minutes I guess. Which is not that much. But let's see what we can do in 60 minutes. But based on the previous experience, I can say that uh, we should be able to crack this. It's all about getting uh, just a simple trick and just pass all the test cases. Okay, blog post API and authorization middleware. Let's do with uh, first one or the second one. Anyway, okay, blog post APIs. I think these kind type of questions are always kind of similar. In this challenge, your task is to implement a simple REST API to manage a collection of a blog post. This is our code. We can just write the code here only. This is the model post controller. And we might have to write the code inside a controller. So this is our controller. And if you see the package JSON, is it using SQLize in memory object? Yeah, it's using SQLize. It's all about uh, getting a good hands on the SQLize ORM to interface with the database. Okay, so here we have our simple blog post API. I will zoom this a little bit. Now, each post is a JSON entry with the following keys, ID, author, title pu is published, timestamp the date when the blog post is created, stored is in the epoch time in the milliseconds. Okay. Publish date, the date when the blog was published, it's also in the milliseconds. Okay. So we need to just implement this uh, REST API and we just need to follow the instruction. So what we need to do is first we have to implement our controller. Inside our controller, we are importing the posts. Okay, and we can simply check uh, the flow. This is app.js. This is the post router. And inside the routes, we have to define all our routes. Right, so we are writing a REST APIs. That means we have to define the get, put, post, all the, the different APIs with this index. Okay, we are calling controller. We have the router. So how we do it in the Node.js, router dot get, put, post, all these things, right? We'll start adding them. Yeah, let's see the API. The model implementation is provided and read only. The task is to implement the REST API. Okay. Create a new blog post. Get request to the posts. Get request to the post by ID. And delete put patch request to post ID. Should return 405. Delete put and patch. So we can say is there are three APIs which should directly give us. So if I just do a put, if I do a patch or if I do a delete, it also return. And the URL can be simply post by ID, right? So we are passing the, the path parameter. So it should be simple like this and this is path parameter and inside post controller we are going to write a method. Post controller dot not allowed. Let's say this is the method and in the same way all will be implemented because also to return the same status code so I can call one thing same same method. Then there is a create method and there is a get get all and get all by ID. So there is a get. Then there is a 
get all and then there is a get my id we'll fix that error this is the id and this is simply post the first is the create blog on the forward slash and now we can define all the methods let's say for post this is for get this is for get by id so we can call get by id get all and here it will be create right so we configured all our routes get put this is put get put patch delete right get by id and the create and we have the now we will go out to our problem statement and we'll go to controller let's copy this like what all methods we need so we will add them in our controller we can add this logic in the bottom based on looking at that we can write a class and call all these methods okay so we need to read first uh, what should be the implementation logic for all these apis here is a post expect a json blog response object without the id uh, without the published date properties and then you can assume that the given object is always valid at the given post uh, to the collection blog post and assign a unique integer id to it the the first created post must have id one the second should have a two and so on if the published property of the payload is true set is published date to the current system time okay if the is published property for the blog payload object is true set the published date to the current timestamp okay and return this so let's add a class blog post and we are going to have all these methods async create blog post you will get one payload from this it's only the published date right uh, so this is our the example of the post json object it is like this we are going to get each post a json entry with the following keys publish the boolean field denoting this timestamp the date when the blog post is created the published at the date when the post json object maybe like the user it's himself it's submitting the timestamp so we don't need to generate them okay what we need to worry about is first is getting the the list const data equal to await and here we need to get the model model is already there uh, posts dot find all it will give me the the length and here i can just say is we already getting the body right so we this contains the request and response we will get the body from the request object it's a create operation and here we need to assign the id to the body body dot id equal to the length plus one means all the existing record dot plus one because we need to set an incremented id to this and then we are going to just insert this await posts dot what is the method in sqlize create and we'll just pass the body and we can return on the address status code response dot status 201 dot json object with this response sometimes it's good to write code i can recap my bc concepts body dot id we are passing this body and response dot status so this is the create blog post but it should be just a simple create based on what we have defined in the router async create 
then we have another method is get all okay so this is all about the posts it should return a 201 and the response get all so return the collection of the posts it should return 200 parameter of author is is published for the example optionally accepts a query parameter also so there are two query parameter we are going to accept so request dot query this is how we can accept the two parameter is author and is published all these parameters are optional in this case they are present only objects matching the parameters it returns true only the value true or false are valid for the is published query parameter if any other value is passed in the request it should be discarded and is published property must not be queried upon as the data type is boolean okay that is also true so what it is saying is in case they are present only object matching the parameter must be returned so these are like they may be present they may not be so here we need to do a lot of things here it's like if uh, what we need to do is if author is there and is published is also there then we need to return the data so let's say this is the data is an empty array so in that case we have to take the consideration that this await posts dot find all is a method and here we need to pass the filter criteria filter criteria is i think there is a where clause in sqlize and we need to define the operator and the condition is inside this we need to pass the properties like i am doing the filtration based on author and then there is a published date is published okay this is like and condition and we can get this operator from sqlize I think this should be the correct one. Sequelize operator and I mean, if both the cases are true, in both the, the query parameters are being passed. Else, if if only one parameter is passed, else if if another parameter is passed, otherwise if nothing matches then data equal to await posts dot find all and don't pass any filter criteria if let's say is published is there then we just need to worry about is published so we can copy a little bit and we'll just use is published we'll remove the author filter If this is the case then we will just use the author filter so here we are getting author here we are getting is published so we are applying the filter based on that okay do we need the end operator here operator where this is published I think we don't need it we can skip it even we can just say let's skip it I mean if there are multiple argument are passed automatically it adds the end operator otherwise you can just simply say where author equal to this where is published equal to true <clears throat> i mean this is the boolean flag so either it is a true or either it is a false and then there is another method uh, get by id this is method and then there is a method get by id we are getting the the params id from the request dot params 
and here in the above call we have to return the response response dot status which is 200 dot json the data okay here we are got we got the id await posts dot find one and here we are passing the id we got the data so if we got the data that means we can just simply return it response dot status 200 with the data which we have received by doing a get by id otherwise if we don't have a data then we can simply say response dot status 404 dot json id not found something like this would be there id not found right id not found okay and then there is a one last method which is not allowed right we can say not allowed request response and we can simply directly call response dot status 405 dot json and we can just simply pass a message okay let's see this this is opening closing this is opening closing and we need to uh, export the object of this so that I can access it in the routes here is my the base place is the posts post router I have all the routes not allowed create get all get by id not allowed and what I can do is I can simply start running tests either some of them will fail or some of them will pass we got some error id not found id not found deeply equals to what is the difference here let's see this okay some are passing it looks like blog post api medium should create a cannot read properties should of undefined should fetch all the posts okay so this is create what we are doing we are getting the request dot body dot id response post dot create body so what it is saying first is blog post medium should create a public should create a published post we can also see their test cases to understand better okay so here we are passing the post clean up then user one is a published it's unpublished user one published okay response dot body dot should equal to user one dot published published date should be greater than new date minus 500 okay that means uh, are we going to okay this is the thing published date we need to add the published date property and this is the epoch time let's see this
ID uh, without the ID and without the public state properties as the body payload you can assume that given object is always valid uh, if the is published property for the uh, payload is true sets the published date to the current system time okay this we have missed so let's go to our controller so if this is body dot is published if this is coming as if is published property is true that means user wants to publish this blog what we need to do is we need to just add the publish date body dot published date now I need to get that uh, how to get the time in milliseconds I think there is a simple method to get that get milliseconds or something date dot get millisecond new date dot get millisecond millisecond so this is is published date current system time milliseconds published date and then now run the tests date time stamp into millis milliseconds block post medium again something we need to fix okay what it is should fetch all the posts if the is published filter value does not exist should fetch all the posts if the is published filter value does not exist uh, should fetch all the posts if is published filter value doesn't exist why should it fetch that author is published is published we should still wait for the filter condition okay let's check this in the spec okay so is published yeah this is wrong here right is published should be a boolean here it is passing string so that is another catch we need to uh, we need to see is published should be a boolean value so we can simply say is, is published equal equal to true here also we can say author should be there and is published should be equal equal to true run all the test again I still didn't like this so there are still three test cases which are failing let's move this to the right <coughs> and now let's see this and passing three failing should fetch all the the published post for an author okay that should not be the problem should fetch all the posts for an author we are passing author equal to one okay author id equal to one what i'm giving expected array two to deeply equal to one author one okay so what's wrong here so we are already getting author or is published if both are there if one is there i mean both are not there if author is there and we are just simply doing let's try this because we don't need unnecessary these conditions is published true false so remaining all are this uh, should get 404 if post id doesn't exist get 404 
ID not found. Okay, it needs in the double quotes. Should fetch all the unpublished posts for an author. Okay. Now, yes, I got the, the bug, right? Is published should be a Boolean. We just need to check if this is being passed as a Boolean or not. Right? It can be true or it can be false. So we need to just con change the condition. So we just need to pass it if we are getting this as a Boolean. So we can just simply say is const is bool so we can say is published either equal equal to true or is published either equal equal to false if it is equal to some string not equal to true or not equal to false then this is not a boolean Okay, now this should satisfy our condition. If you are passing true false, that means you are passing uh, the published flag. Okay, so this is passing. Sorry for the trouble, but what was the mistake? which I was not able to catch is if you are passing boolean in the query parameter then it will always come as a string. It will not come as a true boolean, it will not come as a false boolean, it will always be a single quote true or single quote false. So you have to first check if that is coming as a boolean then in this query also you need to pass okay if is published true then only you will be passing true otherwise for all the cases you will be passing false in this operator in this equalize and operator and now all these are passing right sometimes you don't this doesn't trick and you spend a lot of time and try to see first i try to convert it into a boolean by comparing true and false boolean true and false i haven't thought okay it can be a string then i remember recall Okay, this can this will always be a string until unless you put a parser because now we are using nest JS and all we never encounter this where the boolean value is coming as a string. Okay, so this is the fix for that. I will submit this. All the test cases are passing. And now next thing is uh, what is the next question we have is a nest uh, node JS middleware we have to write. So let's do that. The middleware should implement the following functionality. <coughs> no, we don't have much time, but let's try to implement this. I think I kind of have done this kind of a code if I can recall. So we have to write a middleware based on request response. Okay, what this middleware will do is Compute the middleware JS module, default export, should parse the X role header. So from the X role, we will get some value. Okay, the scope of the route is passed to the middleware as a string, scope name, X and name. Okay. So if this is a task create, then you should be allowed to access this part, that particular middleware, that particular route. Otherwise, you should not be allowed and you should be able to send unauthorized okay so we have to write our middleware.js complete the middleware.js module I will do this offline. Let me clone the code. 